Hi, my name is Miriam Alassar. This is my fourth year in Amana Academy School, and this is my first time to give a TED Talk. I will be talking about my idea how to unify the people of this world together so we can all live peacefully and stop fighting over our differences and focus more on our similarities. It all started one day when I went to the park after school. I didn't have anyone to play with. And then this girl came. She was so quiet and shy. My mom saw her and said, why won't you go and talk to that girl? Then you can play together. I thought it was a good idea. Once I went to the girl, asking her if she would like to play with me, she looked at me with her eyes wide open. Suddenly, she seemed confused and stared at me like I was an alien. I stared at her back. Then she said with a foreign accent, why are you dressed that way? You look weird. I felt sad because she was judging me on what I was wearing. And so I said to her, and why are you talking in a weird way to pay her back for what she said? The girl now seemed embarrassed of what I said and I didn't want her to be sad. Maybe I wasn't supposed to pay her back that way. So I got an idea. I told the girl, I will tell you why I dress this way and tell you a little about myself. And in return, you will tell me why you talk differently and tell me a little about yourself too. Maybe after we understand each other, we could become friends instead of enemies. Then we can play together and have fun. I started explaining that wearing a head cover and long skirts is a dress code for my religion for girls, and I'm a Muslim child. The girl still looked puzzled. Then she said, what's a Muslim child? Right away, I had a splendid idea. I remembered the poem I always recited when I felt the need to explain myself to others. I read it in my favorite book, which was called Muslim Child when I was five, and decided to use it in situations like this so it could become handy. I stood in front of the girl and told her, listen to this, and hopefully you will accept me as a good friend afterwards. Please, for all of you who want to know what a Muslim child is, allow me to share this with you as well. Muslim child, Child of peace, child of war, from a far off distant shore. What do your black eyes see? <sighs> My eyes are not only black, sometimes they are blue as the sky, or green as a tropical sea, or brown as a chunk of a palm tree, in every shade in between. My skin can be black as molasses, or pink as a blush on a rose as gold and as freshly made honey, or dark copper brown as a penny, in every shade in between. I am the richest of rich and the poorest of poor, as famous as famous can be, a general's child pampered and bored, a soldier's child orphaned by war, and every rank in between. I come from many countries, speaking many languages, but in one set of belief, I believe in Noah, Jesus, Abraham, Muhammad, and Moses, and in God who sent them, and in every messenger in between. So the Muslim child, child of peace, what do your bright eyes see? I see that we're each a piece in the puzzle of humanity. I'll try to understand you if you try to understand me. Now back to my story. Guess what the girl did? She gave me the biggest smile ever and clapped for me and told me I would love to be your friend. Isn't that amazing how just a sincere couple of words full of knowledge can change the whole situation? I told the girl, now it's your turn to tell me about yourself. I have to understand you like you understand me now. The girl started to tell her story. I am from Mexico. We came here for a better chance of life. My dad is a farmer. He tries to support my family by moving from place to place, finding new jobs. We moved to this area last month, and I'm still trying to adjust on my new school. It's just so hard for me to improve my foreign accent that fast. I understand better than I speak, 
and I don't have a lot of friends to practice speaking with. Maybe if we become friends, you can help me, she said. I felt sad and asked her, and asked her to forgive me for my ignorance when I made a comment about the way she speaks, and told the girl I would love to be her friend. Now let's go play. I had so much fun playing with her, and I gained a new friend. Please, now, for everyone listening to me, I hope you got the idea. We all have to start fighting ignorance with knowledge. Stop picking on each other. Overcome our differences. If each one of us start to pass a good book, or a nice coat, give a beautiful speech, or write an inspiring story, Hopefully, my generation can live in a more peaceful world. We all come from different cultures and backgrounds. The way I dress shouldn't matter how people view me in the world. Instead, we should all be judged by our actions and characters. Thank you for listening. <laughs>